Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add tech gear to your loot drops and how to customize your loot drops for your Arc PS4 server. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get your Arc PS4 server set up in minutes instead of messing around in the Nitrado expert settings for hours, then go to arcps4servers.com forward slash settings. Here you'll find downloadable settings codes that you can easily copy and paste to the expert mode settings of your Nitrado server and get your server set up ASAP. And if you want to get more players on your server and grow your community, then you can add your server to the site by going to arcps4servers.com and grow your community today. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from ArcPS4Servers.com teaching you how to be better. And I did a video on this, I think late last year, but the app that I was using actually changed and was updated a few weeks after. I've got a lot of questions of people ask, asking, yeah, how, there, there's no export button anymore. How do I actually export the, the file? and that's actually changed now instead of export you actually have to use deploy now if you haven't used the app that i'm going to talk about yet and you don't know how to do this then that information was probably totally useless to you but if you've watched the previous video and you didn't know how to do that then i've probably sent you a link to this and now you know how to do that so let's get into this video first of all I want to tell you guys that I do have loot drop codes that you can download from my site arcps4servers.com forward slash loot hyphen drops and here you'll find a bunch of different loot drops for all the maps Ragnarok, the island, the center, aberration, scorched earth you can even order a custom loot drop to get me to do it for you and there are a few different packages there's a standard package which has no loot in there oh no this one's the standard standard package with no no tech in there this one's standard and tech advanced and tech which has more element in the in the loot drops uh the main one standard package and tech has no element in there and the tech wars modded drops has a bunch of element a bunch of tech and it's it is what it says on the cover tech wars in it so click view more info and you'll be able to see what's actually in these loot drops if we go over here you'll see exactly what you get in each drop in the white drop purple drop all that sort of stuff and more info link will be in the description down below but if you go to um, arcps4servers.com forward slash settings and you want to see more loot drop codes because all of these aren't on the page then just click this click here to view more loot drop codes loot drop codes button and that will bring you to the page which we were just on which will show you the vast catalog of loot drop codes that you can download to basically save you the time of having to do this stuff yourself but i'm going to show you how to do this manually in the app called beacon so let's type in beacon app cc i believe this is the website to download beacon it is a free app you can download this you can also donate you can you know do all that sort of stuff i highly suggest you download if you download it donate help the dude out because this is this is a great app and then once you download it i think it comes on mac or pc yeah so you can get it on mac you can get it on pc let me actually bring it up and show you what this this looks like so here's what happens when you start beacon it will basically ask you to pick your map and ask you to pick the difficulty offset and difficulty value and the max the max dino levels now you don't have to go through all of these you can just go straight to the max dino level and nr whatever your max dino level is and it will actually adapt the rest of these numerical values for you although this really doesn't change anything uh, in terms of your loot drop so you don't even need to touch this but we're gonna go to ragnarok because i think that's probably gonna be the map that most of you guys are on well no the island's easier ragnarok's a bit a bit long let's do the island the way ragnarok works is it has the island drops and scorched earth drops on it so just keep that in mind but if you want a quick Ragnarok loot drop code, you can just go to the site and download it. So we're going to do the island and this will show us the island loot drop code. So it will show us island white to red. Then it'll show us island swamp cave to red. And then it will blue to red. It'll ice cave, underwater, artifact. You can change the artifacts. You can change the 
um, loot that bosses drop. You can change all that sort of stuff. So it's very, very interesting. We're going to start with, let's just do the red drop. Let's do red bonus drop and we'll put some tech gear in there. If you want proof that this works, you can check out the previous video that I've done on this. I actually showed you guys proof. Didn't think it was necessary here because I know it works. Now, I have created a few different one, um, different presets myself. For example, the element one and uh ammo and tech weapons i believe i created that myself and i'll show you how to how to do that but you can just put tech armor in there and you can make your own new one let's go to new empty set and then we'll just change this to tech element or something i don't know and we'll add we'll click this add button over here and then we'll go to element and then we can add element in there and then minimum quantity will be the minimum amount of this resource or this thing that you'll get in each loot drop maximum will be the maximum amount so if you want to get 100 element in each loot drop you do 100 for both of them you turn off chance to be a blueprint because you don't need an element blueprint and i usually leave the weight how it is you can do quality over here depending on what kind of things you're putting in it in there if it's like gear then you want to go to primitive to about ascendant and if it's uh in a bonus drop then you may want to start at journeyman or something like that depending on what you want to do so we'll add this and this will give us a hundred element in each of these loot drops where well, we already got an element one over here so that will actually give us 300 so we'll delete that now we got our tech element one that we just created which again you click on this plus button round here which will give you an untitled item set then you have to name it up here and click on the plus button up here you can also set a minimum amount of items on maximum maximum amount of items that you get from each set and that will basically do what it says on the tin so let's actually get rid of this untitled item set so for example in the tech armor if we wanted you to get you know one item for each one then we just bring this down and we change this to one but as it is you can get a maximum of five which is quite nice that that will give you basically the whole set if you're lucky enough to get five it doesn't mean you definitely get the maximum but you have the chance to get that maximum and that's basically how you edit you know different sets and, and that sort of stuff so we've got tech and element in our loot drop we can also add other stuff we can add advanced weapons advanced furniture we can add all these presets that are available we add advanced firearms you can edit these presets if you want to by going in here clicking the edit button and you can edit the different things or you can create your own one using the method that i showed you already so now we've got advanced firearms tech armor and element in this loot drop of course you'd want to do this for every single loot drop on the server that you want to change i wouldn't do personally i don't do the swamp cave and all that sort of stuff because it's just long and you just have to do loads i just do the main the main loot the main loot drops that people will be getting like white to red and all the bonus ones and all that sort of stuff so if you're doing this on ragnarok you do the island ones and you do the scorched earth ones and then you can have the parity between them and have the same uh, things in each loot drop so you'd want to copy the same things over each one so for example island red bonus you'll have the you know your stuff in there and then scorched earth red bonus you have the same stuff in there if you want to have the same things in the red drop each time you find one on um ragnarok so how do you export this and bring it to your server you go to file you go to deploy and then you go to save a new game any to my computer and then you go to next and then it will give you the option to save it as whatever you want to save it we'll just save it in um the the documents right about now we'll call it test game test any and we'll save that and i was going to show you yeah let me show you my before no 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 we'll go to this and then we'll we'll come back to my my ragnarok um loot drop from earlier so let's actually bring in uh bring out my documents so here we are and here we have the game any file so we have game test .ini. you just want to open that up double click it and it will come up in a text file and then you can copy this 
you copy from under script from uh, config override to the bottom make sure you actually have copied everything because you know changing any of this will basically mess up your loot drops so you copy this and then you go into your nitrado interface you go to game any and scroll down to the bottom I suggest and then you can paste that in there with control and V and as you can see it's all on one line that's how you know you've done it correctly and you've got all your loot drops there now if you've done multiple different loot drops then it may be on multiple lines I don't actually remember how the loot drops come in I'll show you on like one of my actual loot drop codes in a bit but generally you want to see it on one line so now we have our loot drop set up. Of course, of course, you save, you wait 10 minutes, then you restart the server. If you, ha if you don't know how to use expert mode, definitely watch my how to use expert mode video before trying to do any of this stuff. Otherwise, you might fuck shit up. So you now have your loot drop code in there. Let me quickly show you one of my loot drop codes that I've created earlier. Let's do the uh, Ragnarok Tech Wars loot drop. So this should open us up. Yeah. So as you can see, we have the island white, island bonus, island green, all the way to scorched green, you know, scorched red, scorched red bonus, and all that sort of stuff. We actually got platform saddles twice in there, which shouldn't be. So we have to update the... Nah, it doesn't matter. We'll have platform saddles twice. Fuck it but yeah when you're when you're doing this sometimes uh it's, it is a bit glitchy this app is a bit glitchy sometimes you'll copy things over and you won't actually see it and now like it's showing me multiples of each one when when i did it there were no multiples so if i was to open this again those multiples might disappear they might still be there there's little different things like that so we'll we'll close this now and I will open up one of my codes and we'll just put it in there and see if it's all on one line. So here's our Ragnarok Tech Wars um, loot drop code. As you can see, there's a lot here. So instead of, you know, scrolling all the way down and, and trying to get all, we'll just copy all and press Control and C. And then we'll put it in here. We'll paste all. And as you can see, it is on different lines for each specific loot crate. So that's how that works. And then we just delete game any and, and download from our uh, downloaded from arcps4servers.com. And then Bob's your uncle. We've got our loot crate in there. We didn't have to do the whole long thing because <laughs> it is long. It is long. But if you're willing to do it, then you're willing to do it. If you want it sped up, then you can just download a pre-made loot drop code for you from the site and that'll be great for you so yeah that is how you add tech to your loot drops i hope this video helped you out if you've got any questions or any other tutorials that you'd like me to make please leave those in the comment section down below thanks for watching and liking and subscribing i'll see you in the next arc survival evolved ps4 server tutorial peace out if you want to host your own ARC server, then I recommend renting one from Nitrado. They're also the official server provider for Wildcard. Go to jcartarray.com forward slash Nitrado to rent your own ARC server and help out the channel in the process. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.